often see Doherty students wearing shirts that say, people usually throw their hands up in the air and affirm, math is good, or stare at the shirts in question. Why, man, why? As the designer of the shirt and a proponent of mathematics, I will answer to those who ask why. There we go. Math certainly isn't for everyone, but its benefits sure do reach out to everyone. Math is good because its proof-based learning fosters an environment of comprehension. You have probably noticed that math tests, unlike history and biology tests, assess your ability to apply basic concepts that you have digested to solve much more complex problems. Nothing is based on this so-called memorization therefore resulting in an accurate measure of actual understanding. There's no better way of assessing understanding than to demonstrate that you can use your learning to solve a unique problem. This is probably the reason why very few high school students find success in math. They still treat this class like any other class and memorize instead of comprehending. For example, when learning the unit circle in pre-calculus, students waste away memorizing all of the trigonometric values at each angle instead of simply looking at the proof of why these numbers result. So instead of listening to me go over a basic math problem, I guess you can listen to me talk more about this memorization crisis. Memorizing lets you simply move on while actually not understanding the concept. And that's because memorizing makes it feel like you know the concept when actually you don't get it at all. While grading some of the Calc BCFRQs from the series unit, I was surprised to see how many people missed a simple Taylor's Theorem problem. People couldn't find the 17th derivative of a given function f of x when it was a direct application of Taylor's Theorem. I could solve this problem, and I haven't seen Taylor's Theorem in over a year. Memorizing makes you miss things that you can apply concepts to, depriving you of many applications, ultimately limiting you to solving straightforward problems out of a book. We employ mathematicians who can apply their knowledge to solve problems in the real world, which looks nothing like your textbook, by the way. The more you understand math and numbers, the more you'll be aware of what's actually going on in a world run by numbers. The world is and always was run by numbers. In fact, According to chapter zero of the book of numbers, right here, you know, this book was pretty good until it said that nine was a prime number. Organisms have long had the ability and the need to distinguish between more and less and notice patterns in order to survive. It was just that the humans were the first to speak and write these numbers. The numbers are inescapable. And this is where I get to my point. Math isn't exactly for everyone. Not all actually find enjoyment in understanding. Many people find it more reasonable to ignore the seemingly unnecessary details and theory that math brings and focus attention elsewhere. And that's perfectly respectable, but for me, I think it's really fascinating to study a field that's slowly explaining why our world runs like it does. It's intriguing to see how math can s completely solve games like blackjack, or even figure out how to write a perfect pop song. Yeah, scientists at the University of Bristol devised an algorithm that takes into account many variables like time signature, duration, tempo, loudness, and that stuff, and like comes up with a probability that it will be a hit. Or to track down terrorists. Yep, math can do that too. The University of Maryland scare software can pinpoint these bomb locations with half a mile margin of error. So we can slowly see that what we used to call luck and random, or chaos, is slowly coming to order. Until ultimately, some may derive more bliss from ignoring the complexities. But as one who finds value and interest in discovering such workings, I like to say that whether you like being on the forefront or not, you and everyone else sure will be there to reap the benefits. And that is why, while math is not for everyone, in a way, it actually is. And it's also good.